What's going on guys? Shane here with Fight Tips' is MMA coach, Vince the Anomaly. What's up guys? Today we are going to be covering a guard attack sequence. It's going to be helping you to, to fight off of your back and be a little more active off of your back. We're going to start with our basic hip bump sweep and we're going to transition that to either a kimura or a guillotine depending on what our opponent presents us with. Sweet. Let's take a look. Today we're going to be working from the guard position. Since we're talking about MMA, if we sit here in a fight, even if I have an active guard, if we sit here and he's just landing little rabbit punches on me, it's not going to be good, okay? The judges are going to score this round for him. I can't just play off of my back and never actually hit my submission, okay? So we want to be able to attack off of our back, and this is a nice little flow, a little sequence you can go through, starting with the hip bump sweep, all right? To nail my hip bump sweep, it's a very basic sweep, and you're going to get it in a lot of beginner jiu-jitsu classes, but the main thing is realizing when to throw these submissions, right? Or these, uh, these opportunities to try to hit our sweeps and submissions. I gotta know when to time it, okay? My hip bump sweep is gonna come when Shane is posturing back. Whether he's in the act of getting his posture back, so he pushes out and get braces back, or whether he's chilling back here and he's waiting for something to happen, okay? That's when I'm gonna time my hip bump sweep and start to go for it. I wanna make sure that I've cleared Shane's arms and hands off of my hips, and now I'm gonna to start to open up my legs here and get ready for my hip bump, okay? This uh, near side leg to you is gonna come down and it's gonna be blocking Shane's leg. The other side is gonna be bracing behind me. At the same time, I'm posting up on my elbow and then to my hand. I'm getting my hips really high, higher than Shane's so that I have a little more leverage than him. And I'm reaching and shooting this arm up and over. Once I get to this spot, I'm kicking off of my back leg and throwing my hips through to land myself into the mount position. Let's see it again a few times. So I'm clearing off Shane's arms from my hips. If he's able to keep his arms here and I start to get up, he's just gonna stuff me back down. Okay, so I wanna make sure that Shane's not able to brace on my body. Now, once I clear, I'm opening up my guard and immediately blocking this leg, posting the other leg behind me, getting up to my elbow, and posturing up on my hand so I can get my hips higher than Shane's hips. At the same time, I'm throwing this arm over and kicking my hips through, securing this mount position. Very important thing, guys, when you're hitting this hip bump sweep, I've got Shane's leg blocked off with one leg. Now my other leg, as I get my hip up and I'm pushing over, this is gonna be a good, powerful position for me, but scooting my foot back makes it even more powerful. When I'm here, I can push Shane over, but when I'm here, I can really kick through into the direction I want to go to. So if I'm taking Shane over in this direction, I don't want my foot up like this or up here. I want my foot to be in that direction so that I can really spring off and use my power to get Shane over. That's our hip bump sweep. Now, since it's a, a more of a beginner jiu-jitsu move, everyone knows it, but also everyone knows the defense to it, right? Or there's also going to be a movement in there where people are naturally going independent just because of the whole leverage situation. Yeah. They don't want to get swept over. So let's go ahead and cover that. And that's where the sequence uh, really starts to come into play. I go for my hip bump sweep. I'm getting up and over. Now I bump Shane. Your most common reaction is to base up, right? So I hit Shane and there's his arm. If I continue driving through his arm, nothing's gonna happen here and he's just gonna drive forward, putting us right back into this guard position. Okay, so now let's get to that position again. Instead of trying to force my way through this arm, which I might not be able to do, especially if Shane's a bigger and stronger guy than me, instead I'm gonna go for the Kimura, okay? With this arm over here, I'm gonna grab Shane's wrist. At the same time, I'm gonna grab my own wrist over Shane's elbow, okay? Locking in the Kimura grip. Now I'm gonna roll to my back, but I'm not just falling straight back down. I'm gonna put my head and my back at a perpendicular angle to Shane. So I'm gonna drop here and throw this leg over, okay? This leg is preventing Shane from rolling through, and now I've got his arm locked up in the Kimura. I'm gonna bend and push this arm in so it makes a nice little V shape, and that's gonna put a lot of pressure on Shane's shoulder as I start to push through until I get my tap, okay? Now, Shane's pretty flexible. I'm really gonna have to crank this in on someone like Shane. If you have an arm out here, see how much further it goes before he has to tap? So make a nice V shape there, guys, and you're gonna get your tap really quickly. Also, again, the reason why I keep this pinched 
is if I don't, if I just fall to my back, Shane's gonna roll through. All right, then it's a battle. I still have this Kimura grip, which is good news for me, but I don't wanna to get to this position. I wanna finish this submission when I have it. So be sure to pinch that leg down and drive that arm through for the Kimura. So now let's say I'm setting up that same hip bump sweep. I'm getting up and I'm getting my hips off of the mat to push Shane through. But he's a little more experienced, right? He knows what happens next. I'm either gonna hit that hip bump or he's gonna post and I'm gonna catch that Kimura on him. So instead, and this is actually a natural movement, a lot of guys, what they'll do is just pressure right back into. Okay, I don't have the leverage and Shane just drives me back down and now we're stuck. So instead of letting myself get stuck in that position, I'm gonna go for our guillotine. Okay, hip bump sweep, I punch through, Shane starts pushing forward, I shoot my hips backwards. All right, at the same time I'm wrapping up Shane's neck, I can control, get my guillotine grip, drop to my left side, and finish the choke. Now the reason why this works, guys, the most important detail of it is me actually shooting back with my feet, okay? So I'm up here in that hip bump position. If I just start to wrap the guillotine from this position, and Shane drives forward, I don't have the leverage to finish this. Even if my arm's all the way under like it is now, I've gripped up and everything. It's gonna be hard to finish because I can't get my body weight to this side. Shane's already driving me over in this direction and defending against that guillotine, and I don't have any leverage to finish it. So, very important guys, once we're up here and pushing through on this hip bump, I'm gonna use my feet to shoot my butt back at the same time as I wrap my arm. So, kick off, wrap my arm around the neck, Shane's still gonna be driving forward here, and I can snatch up my guillotine for the finish. Be sure to drill this hip bump position uh, with your partner so you can really feel them out. It's, it's a game of momentum, right? It's a game of pressure. So you wanna feel like when I'm pushing through on Shane here, if I can get him all the way over, I'm gonna hit that hip bump. I push really hard and he braces out, that's when I go for my Kimura or I push really hard and I know it's just not gonna happen. Then I'm gonna kick my legs back and wrap up that guillotine. It's really important to drill this so that you know when to transition to what move. And um, you know, this is gonna be a great thing for you. If you're, if you're fighting off your back a lot, if you find yourself stuck on the bottom, especially if you're a smaller guy like me, I had to learn how to fight from the bottom when I first started Jiu Jitsu, when I first started MMA. Yeah. So this is one of my go-to sequences to, to try to at least make something happen and force our opponent to, to react the way we want to. Stay a couple of steps ahead of them, and you're golden. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, you gotta rep this stuff out so it comes natural in time for the fight. Speaking of fights, our very own Vince the Anomaly is stepping back into the cage for his fifth professional mixed martial arts match. If you wanna support him, if you're in the Southern California area, grab your tickets and go watch him live. Links are in the description below for more details. Until next time, I'm Shane. I'm Vince. Fight tips for the underdogs.